The Los Angeles Lakers haven't drafted a point guard since Lonzo Ball in 2017, but they did it again last week by selecting Indiana freshman Jalen Hood Shafino. That could quickly become one of the best decisions in franchise history. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Scott Proctor, and I think you know the deal by now, because this right here, this is Proctor's point of view. And as always, we love hearing feedback from you and receiving comments like this one right here. And obviously, stay tuned to the end of this episode when I address this comment. But has any team in the NBA improved more since February's trade deadline than the Los Angeles Lakers? Because they might have just gotten better. To this topic here today, large majority of Lakers fans hoped that the franchise would find a way to package their number 17 overall pick in last week's NBA draft for another starter pair alongside LeBron James and Anthony Davis. But Los Angeles stayed put at number 17 to draft Indiana freshman Jalen Hood Shafino, and I love the pick. First off, I and many others didn't even expect the 2023 Big Ten Freshman of the Year to still be on the board at 17 because he is what the NBA is becoming. A big guard at six foot six who can handle the ball, who can orchestrate an offense, create shots for both himself and others, and maybe most importantly, can defend. Here's what Lakers GM Rob Palinka had to say of Huchifino after the draft. Quote, he comes with such a great physical package and profile to be a great defender. He's got all the skills with the length to disrupt passing lanes, disrupt shots, He's got a real physical presence, big shoulders, big back. He's really built, end quote. Huchifino's defensive prowess will be welcomed on a team that finished last season 20th in points allowed per game. His size, his instincts, and ball pressure should translate immediately and help Los Angeles from day one. Huchifino's offensive game might take a little bit longer to translate at the NBA level, but he has plenty of it, trust me. Jalen averaged 13 and a half points, nearly four rebounds and four assists as a freshman for Indiana last season while shooting 33% from deeper respectable clip. I'll never forget the 35 points Jalen dropped on the head of Zach Eady and number five ranked Purdue just a few months ago in February on the road as a true freshman. Jalen's handles are already at an NBA level. His mid-range game and ability to finish around the rim at six foot six gives the Lakers some real backcourt flexibility, and they're gonna need it. Huchifino was reportedly drafted in part as a possible replacement to Austin Reeves, who the Lakers could lose this offseason in free agency. Reeves is a restricted free agent, which means the Lakers can match any offer made to him by another team, but Lakers guards D'Angelo Russell and Dennis Schroeder are also free agents this offseason and likely going to end up elsewhere. The Lakers were going to be in need of another ball handling guard who can create, shoot, and defend no matter what happens with Reeves. And they got one at 17th overall in Jalen Hood, Shafino Braun. And the Lakers, y'all are going to love this young man, trust me. But let me know in the comments of Palinka and the Lakers front office made the right decision by drafting Hood Chifino. And shout out to our guy right here for this comment. And I completely agree, man. Quentin Johnston is gonna be a problem as a rookie for the LA Chargers. Go check out that previous episode of Proctor's Point of View where I talk all about it. But that's gonna do it for this episode of PPOV. See you right back here tomorrow.